welcome to FX Street. If you like what we're talking about, you like the content we're producing, you want to be updated to it on a regular basis, head on over to YouTube, join our channel, hit the subscribe button. You can follow Akash and I individually on Twitter because we're both back after our holidays or vacations, depending on what it is you, you, you do, where you're from. Uh, you can follow Akash on Twitter at Vangneko and myself at Just Analysis One. Starting off today, looking at Bitcoin. Um, I'm still like bullish on the whole thing, uh, despite this kind of bearish, overwhelmingly bearish setup on the Ichimoku system. Um, everything here signals further downside momentum, um, and we and we very well, very well may get it, where you might have to have a little dip down here to grab some liquidity before you pop back up. Um, but I tell you what, over the last month. The amount that the volume profile here has grown is, is is pretty significant. There's been a lot of participation in that 45 to 48K zone. The new, um, I'm still calling it the 2021 volume point, point of control because we haven't had enough of 2022 yet. But uh, uh, 48K is the volume point of control right now. From a daily chart perspective, everything's very neutral. Um, not a whole heck of a lot going on here. There's been mul multiple attempts for uh, uh, bears to really sell off Bitcoin, but they've been unwilling or unable to do so. Uh, weekly chart, oops. Weekly chart, we're still above the cloud, still bullish. Everything looks fine there so far. We are below the tank and send and the kitchen send, but um, as long as we're still above the cloud and the Chiku span is above the candlesticks in, in open space, I mean, things are still looking, still looking very bullish there. Um, there's a, several bullish trade setups and bearish setups on the point and figure charts, but I think I think these are probably things that we'll have to visit when we do our our analysis on Friday. I think uh, it's a little too early in the week to look at um, any short or long setups right now beyond what we've discussed in the, in the last couple weeks. Uh, it's just. First, first trading week of the year, doesn't matter the instrument, it's always a little iffy on what's going on. So it's it's good to just kind of sit on the hands and, and watch and see what happens. Um, you know, I, I personally, I'm not into opening up any new short-term speculative positions right now, uh, but that's what I see for, for Bitcoin. I mean, as far as downside potential, uh, down to 38K max and upside potential is uh, really uh, not there. It's, I mean, it's, it's as far as it's, there's no ceiling I see. Could, new all-time highs coming up i don't know what you see akash i'm fully bullish john i on the <laughs> other hand i'm taking it one step at a time uh for now i see uh, a fractal of sorts playing out here which is uh we saw a triple tap set up here which was followed by a 15 percent upswing uh and then again a full retracement down and now we're seeing something similar here uh, a triple tap setup starting up again as you can see it's a bit more clear on the one hour time frame so i see uh, another triple tap setup here which is starting to develop and i am expecting it to retest uh the 200 day moving average at forty-eight thousand, which is a decent three okay it's, it's very less it's a three percent upswing uh but i do see what, if we do get a close above uh the 200 day moving average I'm expecting it to at least retest the 50 day moving average at 51,630. Uh, honestly, not a lot going on here for Bitcoin. It's from a daily time frame. We've already seen a death cross between the 50 day and the 100 day moving average, which is kind of bad. And we are already below the 200 day moving average. So I see at least a retest of this year, uh, the 200 day moving average. If not, uh, then they're going for the liquidity resting above these, uh, the candle bodies over here. Or it is 50,000 psychological level. That's what I'm looking at uh, for Bitcoin from a lower time perspective. Not a lot uh, from my end, John. That's, that's it for me. Great. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.